What's up, everybody? We're Side After Dark out of Brooklyn, New York. Your new favorite band. I'm Dan Berg. I'm Steve Graffiti. Check out our music. And check out us reacted to Treacherous Cretans by the legendary Frank Zappa. This was selected by our patron, Peter K. Shout out to you, Peter. If you don't know, all of our reactions are chosen by our patrons on Patreon. So go over there, check it out, and tell us what to react to. Thumbs up if you like this video. Oh, nice. This is from Shut Up and Play Your Guitar. That's cool. Let's get some Zappa solos.
Oh. That's easily one of my favorite Zappa solos. Like easily. I'm put I'm about to put this on my Spotify playlist right now <laughs> cuz I don't want to forget about this one. Easily, easily. Oh man. Like how can an instrumental make you feel so happy and so sad at the same time? How could you call this treacherous cretins, Frank? Like what what possessed you to call that? You know what I think? You know, we we have like at least one hater um on, <laughs> on our in our comment section that like despises Frank Zappa and like I always say to myself like well what really makes people dislike him because he's he's obviously a great technician I, f I feel like it's frank's calm with the genius that kind mm. of pisses people off if he was more of an exhibitionist well he is an exhibitionist but if he was more a vocal and a kind of like emotionally fragile exhibit exhibitionist i feel like those kind of people that can't stand frank that would be like yeah he's awesome he's really genius but yeah. a lot of people don't really love when you're like really, really great at something and you've got this like calm, really intellectual, intelligent thing going on about you. I was going to say, I think people don't, a lot of people might not like him because of how fucking smart he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes he's letting you know how smart he is. Not yeah, only with yeah, his yeah. playing, but also with whatever comes out of his mouth. But I wouldn't even say in this song that I really felt that. This this just felt like... I was thinking, like, why would people not like him? Because this was yeah, so great. This it's was so like, great. like, if you listen to this, you can't say, like, oh, he doesn't have any genius-like qualities. Well, the other thing is, like, he just put out so much music that, like, the uh, if you're not a Zappa fanatic, the odds of hearing this song are what? That's one true. in a million. Yeah. What? <laughs> How many? One in twenty thousand songs. Yeah. You know what I mean. So the odds of if you're not a big Zappa person of even have ever having the chance to hear this. Yeah. It's pretty small. Uh -huh. Which is uh -huh. sad because this is a this is beautiful. I yeah, mean, it I'm just like it had this like um like an ominous kind of reggae feel like yes. at that you know what I mean. I felt like I was flying. I felt like I was in some kind of like fantasy movie. I'm, I'm like flying over like some. <laughs> gorgeous like feel where there's some kind of like battle or there's like trouble brewing down below yeah you know what i mean ominous reggae sounds like a band or a title or something, <laughs> something. we I mean, are ominous reggae <laughs> and we have come to make you sad <laughs> um but this was just a bit this was such a great solo like exactly. i don't even know if it's necessarily the notes he was playing or if it was just the chord progression or like what it was about this whole thing, just the vibe of it was just so, like, I want to live in this song. Yeah, I love when he was phrasing and he was doing those little hints of synth in his phrasing that kind of, oh, like, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with that in 70s, 80s, 90s, 10,000s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just so cool. And especially right when we started, I was like, oh, it's on the Shut Up and Play Your Guitar album, so this is going to be a guitar solo. Yeah. And this did not disappoint. Like, yeah. I love Frank's guitar solo so much. I, I thought of so many things. Like, when it first, first began, it didn't sound exactly like it, but it sounded like the beginning of Soft Parade. So I was like, can you Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was thinking, I would have loved to hear Jim Morrison sing to Frank's guitar playing. I would Ooh. love to hear him sing to this. Like, yeah. you know, and then that made me think of, I found a, a video of Robbie Krieger playing Chunga's Revenge. I haven't pressed play yeah, on it Yeah, 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 you showed and, me that. Yeah, and I wanted to know, guys, do you, it, like, do you want us to react to it? It's kind of like a bonus, like, yeah. or do you think it's crap? Have some of you seen it and think it's crap? If you want us to react to Robbie Krieger's Chunga's Revenge, then just comment <laughs> comment. Uh, there's got to be a specific comment that we tell them. Chunga Robbie. Yeah, chunk. Comment Chunga Robbie, and if we see it <laughs> enough, then we'll just do it. No one has to suggest it on Patreon. Um, but speaking of people suggesting things on Patreon, shout out to Peter for yeah. this one. Yeah. This was crazy good. Oh yeah. And then treacherous cretins. Maybe it's because, like I said, like it made me think of like like he's there's something not super happy going on. Right. So maybe there's some kind of mischief. You know, some kind of cretins are. are causing up some trouble mm -hmm. in a treacherous way <laughs> in Frank's life. You Correct. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, I fucking loved it. Yeah, sounds so. like mental cretins. Yeah. It would be something on my mind. If I were to say, like, if I were to describe this song, what is it? A day in your life or something on your mind? It would be something on my mind. So that you're saying this song is, you think this song is about anxiety? Yeah. I'll say this song is about, man, I was going to name some of the people in life that, that were really getting on his nerves. <laughs> 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 it's about Gail. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, this was awesome. Check out our Zappa podcast if you haven't. Yeah. Um, and shout out again to Peter for bringing this to our attention because this was a great one. Uh -huh. I, I I just don't have enough I can say about this. And I already added it to the playlist. You saw it. Okay, it happened in real time. All right. Um, so thanks again, Peter. Thanks to everyone on Patreon for making these videos possible. Shout out to everybody watching on YouTube. We're Side After Dark.
and we'll see you soon. Bye.